You know, it's funny. I complained that I didn't know much about Savine and Hera. In the next episode, we have a Savine and Hera episode. They're listening, man. They're listening. Star Wars Rebels. Season 1, Episode 5. Out of Darkness. Alright, so this episode of Rebels, we have... This was pretty much a filler episode. And that's okay. This is pretty much episode 2. Where you had both Ezra and, uh, what, whatever his name is, doing the droid mission, and they're still in the X-Wing, or the TIE Fighter. It's just a character development episode for the two characters, for both Sabine and Hera. One thing I really liked about this episode, we got more of a backstory for Sabine. I knew she was a Mandalorian because of the helmet. The helmet is a whoop, and then a boop, and that pretty much dignifies that you're a Mandalorian. What's cool, you find out that Mandalore, I guess Mandalore was taken over by the Empire. I mean, if you think about it, if we go back to Clone Wars, back to the season 5 finale, and you had Darth Maul and Darth Savage take over Mandalore and try and take over all the neutral systems. Mandalore is pretty much going into chaos. So it would make sense the Republic would probably send an army and take over Mandalore. The Republic became the Empire, which tells us one thing. It tells us that Mandalore was another Imperial Academy for the Mandalorians. Pretty cool learning that Sabine was actually an Imperial Cadet, which means she's pretty much like Han Solo. In the, some of the older uh, Expanding Universe books, you had Han Solo, was uh, he went to the Imperial Academy, and he didn't like how people, how they treated their subjects. And he freed Chewie, and then he became a smuggler. So it just wasn't for me. It's pretty much the exact same thing for Sabine, which is pretty awesome. But, but a lot of it is she wants to know what's going on with both, what their ultimate plan is. The plot, the uh, the monsters attacking, it was alright. It was cool seeing a, uh, because the base was from the Clone Wars. So you saw one of those carry, the ships that carry troops in from the Clone Wars. So it was kind of cool seeing one of those ships. Overall, I really liked this episode. I want to give it a 3.4 out of 5. Have you seen Star Wars Rebels? If you have, comment below. Let me know. Tell me what you thought about it. And if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to see more. Too easy.